So here we will see the iodine metabolism as iodine is very important to synthesize the thyroid hormone T3 and T4. So what are the sources of iodine intake in our body? So first is sea fish that is the richest source of iodine intake to our body. Milk, vegetables, bread etc. These are the dietary sources by which we can get the iodine to our body. This iodine is absorbed in our body in the form of iodide ion. So these are the daily average intake of or daily requirement of iodine according to the different physiological states or the years group. The daily average intake of iodine for normal adult is around 500 microgram per day while the daily iodine requirement for the body is at least 100 to 200 microgram per day. For prevention of goiter, we need at least 75 microgram per day iodine. In neonatal period, the neonates require at least 40 microgram per day of iodine. During the pregnancy, the iodine requirement is around 200 microgram per day. Now come to the fate of this dietary iodide. So after absorbing this uh, iodide from the intestine, what will happen to this iodide or the iodine? So as we know, daily intake, average daily intake of iodine is 500 microgram per day. After ingestion, this iodine circulate in the blood and around 20% of iodine is uptake by thyroid uh, gland and that is around 100 microgram per day and this iodine uptake occur in the form of iodide ion and out of this 500 microgram per day around 80 percent of iodine is excreted by the kidney and that is around 400 microgram per day so plasma iodide level remains around 0.15 to 0.3 microgram per day. Now come to this thyroid iodide. So around 5 to 8 milligram of iodide is stored in this thyroid gland of an adult. That is around 95% of total body iodide. So this is the storage site of iodine and it can maintain the three month euthyroid level in an individual without any synthesis of new thyroid hormone. Out of this 5 to 8 milligram of iodide, about 5% of iodide are present in follicular cells of SNI of thyroid gland and near about 95% of this is stored iodide are, are present as thyroglobulin molecule and out of this 95% of stored thyroid iodide two third iodide are present in the form of iodotyrosine that is a biologically inactive form while one third of this stored iodine is present in the form of T3 and T4 that is the biologically active form of thyroid hormone. See here in this slide we will understand about this iodine iodide intake and output. So around 500 microgram iodide in diet we received on daily basis. Out of this 500 microgram iodide 120 microgram iodide are absorbed by the thyroid gland and around 380 microgram of iodine remain in this extracellular fluid. So out of this 120 microgram iodide that is absorbed by the thyroid gland, 80 microgram iodide is secreted in the form of T3 and T4 to the liver and other peripheral tissues and around 40 microgram of iodide again secreted into the extracellular fluid that join this remaining 380 microgram iodide. So out of this 80 microgram iodide 
that is secreted by the thyroid gland to the liver and other tissues around 60 microgram iodide again secreted back to the extracellular fluid and remaining around 20 microgram of iodide is secreted into the bile and excreted by the stool so near about 480 microgram of iodide is excreted in the urine out of total 500 microgram ingested iodine in the diet so that is the flowchart of iodine metabolism in our body